author of gothic fiction and erotic literature, Anne Rice, died at the age of 80 on Saturday December 11 and the news of her death was shared by her son, Christopher, on Facebook and Twitter. This is Anne's son Christopher and it breaks my heart to bring you this sad news. Earlier tonight, Anne passed away due to complications resulting from a stroke. She left us almost 19 years to the day my father, her husband Stan, died. The immensity of our family's grief cannot be overstated. As my mother, her support for me was unconditional, she taught me to embrace my dreams, reject conformity and challenge the dark voices of fear and self-doubt. As a writer, she taught me to defy genre boundaries and surrender to my obsessive passions, the son of the interview with the vampire author wrote in a Facebook post, on Anne's page, that had over 18, oh, oh, oh reactions, he reposted the same message on Twitter. Some of the other authors who died this year include Lauren Berland and Janet Malcolm. Anne was best known for her series of novels The Vampire Chronicles. Books from the series were the subject of two film adaptations, Interview with the Vampire, 1994, and Queen of the Damned, 2002. Her books have sold over 150 million copies, making her one of the most popular and best-selling authors ever. She was married to poet and painter Stan Rice for 41 years, from 1961 until his death from brain cancer in 2002 at age 60. How did Heidi Forer die? Dawson's Creek writer was bedridden due to COVID-19 How did James Lowen die? Historian and author of Lies My Teacher Told Me dies at 79 Final moments of Anne Rice's life Songwriter Elton John and writer Anne Rice embraced during curtain call on opening night of Lestat at the Palace Theatre April 25, 2006 in New York City, photo by Paul Hawthorne slash Getty Images Christopher Reveal. In her final hours, I sat beside her hospital bed in awe of her accomplishments and her courage, awash in memories of a life that took us from the fog-glazed hills of the San Francisco Bay Area to the magical streets of New Orleans to the twinkling vistas of Southern California, as she kissed Anne goodbye, her younger sister Karen said, what a ride you took us on, kid. I think we can all agree. Let us take comfort in the shared hope that Anne is now experiencing firsthand the glorious answers to many great spiritual and cosmic questions, the quest for which defined her life and career, he said. He added that his mother will be interred in our family's mausoleum at Metairie Cemetery in New Orleans in a private ceremony. Her life will also be celebrated in an event next year in New Orleans, which will be open to the public and will invite the participation of her friends readers, and fan.